In addition to making new connections between brain regions, another way that we can change our brains is by altering the speed at which communication occurs. One way that we can do this is by increasing the diameter of neurons themselves. If we return to our analogy of the brain as a city, this would be akin to widening roads to allow more traffic through. Unfortunately, widening roads can only increase traffic flow to a certain extent. If we want to get where we're going much more rapidly, we have to use a completely different mode of transit, such as rail. The advantage of rail travel is that you can move rapidly from point to point, while being largely unimpeded by traffic. This is where myelin, a structure in the nervous system that my own work focuses on, comes in. Myelin is a fatty coating that surrounds neurons, allowing them to transmit signals far more rapidly. Like a train traveling between stations, signals traveling along myelinated nerves jump from point to point. This allows them to be transmitted far more rapidly than signals in neurons not covered by myelin. Recent findings suggest that myelin can be changed by our actions. One study showed that learning to play a musical instrument as a child results in changes to myelin that can be observed 20 years later. But myelin can be changed when you learn as an adult too. Another study showed that when adults were taught to juggle, changes to myelin could be seen after only six weeks of practice. So one way to think about myelination then is as a high-speed rail upgrade for your brain.